Hello, boys and girls. Let me bring you a bit closer to the whiteboard. All right, so this will be our video <clears throat> for Math Lesson 14 for Thursday, September 10th. And we're going to be working more on multiplication and division. So let's start off by doing some skip counting. <clears throat> so we're going to skip count by twos. This is getting pretty easy for us because we have practiced it a lot. So we'll go pretty quickly. Ready? Go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, eighteen, sixteen, fourteen, twelve, ten, eight. Six, four, two. Awesome job. Okay, if you didn't find that easy, then you might need to practice a little bit more at home counting by twos on your own. <clears throat> Let's try counting by fours. So very much like counting twos, except for we just think every other number and don't say it. So are we ready? Are we gonna say two? No, it's we're counting by fours. We're just gonna think two. Then we're going to start with four. Ready? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. 36, 32, 28, 24, 20, 16, 12, 8, 4. All right, good job. That one's still a little bit tougher, but we have practiced that a few times. All right, let's look at a tape diagram. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram. Maybe my pen works. I'm going to draw a tape diagram with one, two, three, four, five equal sections. We're going to pretend like these are equal. <clears throat> and in the first box, I'm going to draw one. Two, three, four, five X's. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't do that right. No, I have five boxes, but only two X's. So in the first box, I'm going to draw two X's. Right, so how many X's are there going to be in each section when I finish this tape diagram. Okay, two. So I'll need two here, two here, two here, and two here. Okay, so what is a multiplication sentence that I can write for this array? I can write I have five boxes times two in each box. And then what is my product or my answer for multiplication problem? Let's count by two, four, six, eight, ten. So I have two in each box. And how many do I have all together? Ten. Okay, so I can use my tape diagrams to do multiplication. Okay, let's do another one. This time, let's make four boxes. And let's put three X's in each one. I'll squeeze them in here. Okay, so what's my multiplication sentence? 
I have four boxes times three. I can count by three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, let's do one more. Let's fix three X's, but let's go back to having five boxes. So I would have five. How many do I have all together? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So my multiplication sentence is five times three equals fifteen. What would my division sentence be? Remember, division sentences always start with the largest number. 15 is our largest number. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Could I have written a different division sentence? Right, I could have done it the other way. I could have said 15 divided by 5 equals Great. All right, great job. Okay, I'm going to need you to have your whiteboard or a blank piece of paper for this next part. So you can pause the video if you need to go and get that. And then we will go on. So I'm going to be asking you to draw some things on your whiteboard. Let's see how the blue shows up. Mm, it's not too much. Yes, All right. So we're going to look at an array. So I want you to make an array on your paper, and it's going to have 10 rows of four. Okay, so here's one. Two, three, four. Second row. One, two, three, four. Third row. One, two, three, four. Fourth row. And we're going to keep going until we have ten rows of four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more at the bottom. And we have ten. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video until you get your array drawn on your whiteboard or piece of paper. And then we'll come back together. All right, we're going to use this array to count to 40 by fours. And we're going to say, hmm, 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 for the first three any time. And now I'm at four. So now I can write four at the end of the time. Hmm, 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 eight. And I can write eight at the end of this line. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. What's going to come here? Good. Wow. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Now I'm going to write 16. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. 20. Good job. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Now, good. 24. Mm hmm, mm hmm, hmm. You know? All right, 28. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Now, 32. 
This one will be 36. And finally, this one is 40. Great job. So we were counting by fours using this for red. All right, I am going to say a multiplication sentence, and you are going to find the answer on your array. So, if I have four times one, where is my answer? That's right, it's here. Four, because I have one row of four. What if I have four times six? I'm going to need to have one, two, three, four, five, six rows of four. So my answer is 24. Okay, let's try another one. What if I have four times seven? Go ahead and make a box around the answer in your array. Four times seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is my seventh row. So my answer is 28. What if I have four times 10? What would my answer be? That's right, it would be here because I have 10 rows all together. So where would I find four times nine? Awesome, right here, because this is our ninth row. All right, so we can use that array to find the product to any multiplication sentence that is multiplying by four. All right, great job. What if, before we move on to our tape diagram, what if I told you that I have a multiplication sentence and the answer is 16? Could you use this array to tell me the multiplication sentence? So the product is 16. What is my multiplication sentence using this array? I can find my 16, and this is the one, two, three, fourth row. So four times four equals 16. So we can use this array whether we have an answer or a multiplication sentence. Either way, we can use it. All right, let's move on to a tape diagram. Okay, so I'm going to draw a tape diagram that goes with my array. How many groups did I have? I had groups of four. How many groups did I have? Ten. So I'm going to need a tape diagram with ten sections. Do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. So I had ten rows. How many do I have in each row? That's right, I had four. So I'm going to make one, two, three, four in this box. Okay, and that represents my first row. So here I have my 10 groups. And I have four in each group. So could I use a tape diagram the same way that I use my template? Let's see. What if I asked you what four times three is? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, four times three. Four times three, so I, need, I have four in each box. I need to come to the third box. So we're gonna need to fill these in so that I can count them. Okay. 
Okay, four times three is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So here I've gotten to eight, now I've gotten to twelve. Do you remember what four times four is? We did that one before. Let's see if we can do it again. Four times four is, I already had 12 here, so this is 13, 14, 15, 16. What if I told you that the product is 20? So the answer to a multiplication sentence is called a product. What is the product? And the product is 20. What is the multiplication sentence? Well, let's see. If I fill in my next box on my tape diagram, I have 16 here, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, and everything is a four, so four times one, two, three, four. I'm on my fifth box, so four times five equals 20. Okay, let's keep going. Now I have 24. Let's keep filling it in. 28. See why we were practicing counting by fours? Helping us here. So if my product is 40, what is my multiplication sentence? Four times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Four times ten is forty. Can I use this to figure out four times eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have a thirty-two here. So four times eight is 32. So we can use an array or a tape diagram in a similar way to find our answers to multiplication problems or to find our problem if we know our product. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at our problem set. So today's problem set has some pictures, and it's actually just an array. It's just using some different fruit. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So we're going to fill in our numbers just like we did on our array on the board. So they've filled in the four for us, and then eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and you're going to keep going. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rows, 10 rows of 4. So what should we have in our bottom box? That's right, 40, because 4 times 10 is 40. Once we've done that, if you're working on paper, we're going to draw a line from our product in the box to our multiplication sentence over here in the baskets. So they have drawn a line from the four to four to one times four. For eight, I'm gonna be looking for two times four or four times two. It could be either order, right? Because we have that commutative property that lets us move things around in a multiplication sentence. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, says Mr. Schmidt replaces each of the four wheels on seven cars. How many wheels does he replace? Draw and label a tape diagram to solve. Okay, so we can make a tape diagram. How many boxes should we have? Well, we have seven cars. So I think we should have seven boxes in our tape diagram. And then how many marks are we gonna make in each box? That's right, four, because it's gonna represent our number of wheels. Okay, so then we can count, we can count by fours, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 
28. So Mr. Schmidt replaces 28 wheels. They would like you to use your whiteboard or a piece of paper to draw the tape diagram. <clears throat> you don't have to worry about trying to take a picture of it or sending it to me in any other way. Um, in the box, just type diagram on paper or what, whatever it says. And um, so you're gonna do those on your own so that you can solve the problems, but you don't need to worry about getting them to me in any way. All right, so you're going to continue until you finish the problem set. And then that is our lesson for today. So tomorrow we will be looking at lesson 15. All right, have an awesome day. Come see me during my office hours if you have any trouble at all. All right, bye-bye.